Achtung! Hasta la vista, baby. Hello guys, my name is Slav Terminator Doke and I have a problem. I can't melt metal. Not in here, not in my beautiful studio. And yeah, you're right. Today we are painting liquid metal. You were sending me pictures of these liquid metal, liquid chrome pieces over and over again. Most of them were made by a guy with the name Bonsai. Definitely go to his Instagram, um, Dave, Dave Bonzai. He makes some really cool stuff. Check it out and show him some love. Here are some examples of the effect that we want to do today. See, we want to paint a text that is basically made of uh, liquid metal, except it, it isn't, it's, it's painted. But yeah, um, shall we proceed to the preparation? As always, I started the preparation with a search of good reference pictures first of all on google and then on bonsai's instagram profile i was looking for some kind of a system or some kind of a pattern that would help me to paint the liquid metal but i didn't really find uh, anything like that so instead i decided to do a little experiment Right now you're super concerned about my safety, but don't you worry, I won't need to melt any metal with explosive materials because I got these liquid chrome markers from Molotov. The thing is that their fill should act just like liquid metal. See? But the problem is that I can't just make a sketch and fill it with the marker just like this because this this doesn't give me the the effect, you know. I'll need a little bit more thick uh, thick layer of color. First of all, I need to make a sketch. So, okay. Eh. Okay, I like this tag, but the O is a little bit too... Let's try one more time. <clears throat> okay, I like this one. So right now I'll take the tag, put it below transparent foil. And I don't like him! Ah! Okay, after doing like 50 tags, I'll go with this one. Although, this is the tech. Yeah, right now comes the, the chemistry, sort of. Peach! This is the chemistry, pouring water on electricity. Fucking hell. <sighs> we will take a marker. Undo the upper part. We will undo the pumping part. Part, do this gently. Don't push too much. And let me show you. This is the inside of the marker. You can see the liquid chrome in there. What we will do is that we will suck the liquid metal out of the marker and apply it to our sketch. Ah! That's too much. Too much, too much! So this is what I created, but I don't really... <laughs> I don't like these parts where I use too much color, so... Maybe a brush will be better? The brush isn't so good because as you can see over here, right over here, it doesn't deliver the liquid effect. It's... The layer of the color is too thin. Do everything correctly and then at the end I just... Uh, 
I did the E one more time and I'll just put these two together. What I need to do right now is to pick the sketch that I like more. Probably I'll do some combination of these two together. And boom, right now I can just take a picture like this. And I have a perfect reference picture. So I will play with this reflection right now, take some pictures, adjust them in Photoshop and see you at the wall. Do you recognize this wall, this spot? This is the spot where I had an argument with that stupid biker and actually my, my painting from summer is still there untouched which is quite weird but yeah <laughs> never mind let's paint this beautiful black wall right now let me tell you something about the colors that we will need today based on the fact that we are painting liquid chrome today you might think that I'll use chrome but nope nope to pick the colors appropriately I've been looking at my sketch and I immediately noticed that the upper part will be gray, like this can over here. Then there are some lighter parts. For them, I'll use even lighter gray from this one. Then there's a little bit of shadow in this area. For that, I get a little bit darker, well, quite more dark gray color. Then for the really dark parts, I have a really dark gray. So, so far, it's just a gray scale, but then it gets a little bit tricky. The lower part includes reflections of yellow. I got vanilla yellow for these parts and also a little bit darker yellowish color. But then there is this area in the middle where I'm not quite sure. I got something greenish, some brown colors. I guess that we will figure it out during the painting process. Okay, time for a sketch. Celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate. I've been scoring every day. Scoring. Champagne Perrier since 9 3, been in the box now. Stepping up to home, like straight out the sand lot. Now I'm plotting on the globe. On the globe. I work hard, I show so right now. When I have a sketch, I'll fill it all with the gray color. Go dummy, go beast on them. I go beast, go deep. I OD on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that Same fit four days. four days. I grind four ways. Four ways. I play no games. no games. All me, no blame. On the wave, my own wave can I already like it quite a lot, but right now comes the hard part the shading slash shading. Yeah, I don't know how to call this. Melting chrome or metal. Huh. I'll go from the upper part, which I consider easier. To the lower parts and when I'm done with all this I'll need to clean this mess around all the letters because in reality nothing like that appears when you do a liquid chrome piece so this is the testing testing ground once again um, not really sure most of the time these effects pop up when you finish the whole piece or you look from bigger distance. Uh, well, let's continue to these parts.
so the effect is basically there I've been looking for a bigger distance you need to wait a little and I and right now I definitely need to clean these things as I said before because they just destroy the whole effect and bow it's done and I'm not sure not sure at all well you'll need to tell me if I delivered the effect this time and for sure if you have some suggestions for the next videos they're always welcome in the comments below all right this is it Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate, on time, never late, I grind, celebrate.